Hi, this is Manansal V. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to create this smooth rolling transition in LumaFusion using adjustment clips, which were added in LumaFusion 5.2. Then, I'll show you how to create additional variations of the effect, like this one. This tutorial is inspired by a review of LumaFusion 5.2 by Jade Star Music. The link to the channel will be in the description. Big thanks for the inspiration. We are starting in LumaFusion with a 30 frames per second 16x9 project, and the two clips that will be part of the transition are already placed in the timeline. I'm making the transition a second and a half long, so you can see how it works, but you might want to make it shorter. Start by making a cut a second and a half before the end of the first clip in the transition. Then, Duplicate that cut. Make a cut a second and a half after the beginning of the second clip in the transition. As before, duplicate that cut. Stack the video cuts as shown. Change the size of all the four cuts to 25. Position the cuts on the screen to match their order in the timeline tracks. For each clip, leave position X at 0 and set position Y to minus 75, minus 25, 25, and 75, respectively. This is how it looks so far. Now, add an adjustment clip above the four cuts and set its duration to match the one and a half second length of the cut. Edit the adjustment clip. Set the size and position so the topmost cut occupies the full screen. Set size to 400 and position Y to 300. You'll need to do this manually since the numbers are out of the range of the sliders. Make sure you're at the beginning of the adjustment clip and add a keyframe. Then, Move to the end of the adjustment clip. Set position Y to minus 300 so the bottom cut occupies the full screen. A keyframe will be created automatically. This is how it looks so far. Now adjust the easing so it slows out from the first keyframe and slows in to the second one. Fine-tune the easing as needed. Exit back to the timeline. This is how it looks now. Since we're already talking about transitions, here's something worth checking out. MNN TV has six native LumaFusion transition packs. These aren't custom transitions like the one we are building. They show up right in the transitions list and work just like the built-in ones. Right now, the Edit Booster Pack, featured in my last video, is free, so grab it while it lasts. You'll find the link in the description, and MNN TV is also featured in the What's Happening panel inside LumaFusion. Just tap Learn More to check out their store. Back to the tutorial, let's expand the effect in the transition so it looks like this. Add another adjustment clip just above the existing one. As before, adjust its duration to match the 1.5 second length of the clips below it. Edit the adjustment clip you just added. Add three keyframes for size, position, and duration. One at the beginning, one in the middle, and one at the end. 
Modify the size Y of the middle keyframe to 400. Now in the easing editor, modify the curves so the values slow in and out of every keyframe. Fine-tune the easing as needed. Exit back to the timeline. This is how it looks now. Now let's add some motion blur. Add another adjustment clip just above the two existing ones and adjust its duration as before. Next, edit the adjustment clip you just added. And the colors and effects add the motion 80 preset. Change the angle to 90 so the motion is vertical and change the radius to 0. Add three keyframes, one at the beginning, one in the middle and one at the end. Modify the radius of the middle keyframe to 100. Now in the easing editor, modify the curve so the values slow in and out of every keyframe. Fine-tune the easing as needed. Exit back to the timeline. This is how it looks now. Based on the workflow covered in this tutorial, you can also create this transition. Start by stacking the videos with a diagonal offset. Add an adjustment clip for the movement. Next, add one more adjustment clip for the size to increase and decrease throughout the motion. Finally, add one last adjustment clip for the motion blur. By applying the principles of this workflow, you can also create this words map flyby. So this is it for this episode. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to this channel, give it a like and click on the bell so you are notified when I post new videos. Thank you for watching, stay safe and I'll see you on the next one.